Hello again. It's me, Barbara. Here is the bed. It's all dried. We can put that aside. Put this aside right there. And we'll start the next one. This, you're going to need needle and thread if you want to make a pillow and a bedspread for the bed. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little square and make a make a simple little pillow. So, just figure how big you want it. I'm going to make it as big as the bed. So, I'll make it. about that big. Okay. And this we are going to sew. I have some needles already uh, loaded with thread so I'm just kind of whiz through it. This other camera going. Okay. So this is what you have, a little rectangle. And what you do is you sew. I got to decide where, because you, you're going to need a, a little hole to, to stuff it. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to sew it like this. Take little stitches, sew all the way across. Just like that. It'll probably take your whole piece of thread. So you just pull it through. That's one side. Okay, come to this side and you just do the same thing. You just take little stitches and sew all the way up. This is how I learned how to sew by hand. I used to get whatever uh, Scraps of fabric. Yeah, I poked myself. Ouch. Yeah, you got to be careful with needles because they will poke you and you will bleed. So, I just, I just, okay. So, what I am going to do because of that is I am going to start over. I do not want a pillow with blood in it. And throw that away. Start again. Okay. I will measure it again. Just need a little rectangle. You can make it as big or as little as you want. That when you're having fun, sometimes measurements be relevant. So, try this. Okay, I'll try it again. I will have, I have to tie a little knot at the end. I just twist it between my fingers and pull it. And then I have a little knot, just like that. Uh oh. And couch. Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. This time I will try not to poke my finger. Okay, just so take little stitches. Yeah, little stitches. Like I said, this is how I learned how to sew. to the corner. And you just sew across, just like that. Take a few stitches and then you pull the needle through. Take a few stitches. really easy. Okay. We 
getting to the end. So, I'm going to even it up a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to turn another corner. So, in order to turn another corner, you just go the other direction. Okay. So, I want to leave it open so that I can stuff the pillow. So I'm going to take a little stitch, make a little circle, and pull it through so you make it knotted, and it's knotted, and it's attached. You can do it twice, this way it's extra attached. There you go, just like that. What you could do is you could use whatever leftover batting you had to stuff the pillow. Turn it around. Just like that. And you have a little rectangle with the hole in the middle so that you can stuff it. Okay, put that aside. Get the stuffing ready. Just put it in there in little pieces. stuff it. Kind of hard. This isn't the right stuffing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the time to cut it in little pieces. Just cut it. Make your own stuffing. Keep cutting it. Your hands will probably get tired. Just go like that. Just cut it into a bunch of little pieces so it'll fit inside the pillow. The pillow. If you have batting, that would be all the better. And then you'd have to go through all this fuss. Since how this is all I have in front of me, I will use what I have and just cut it into a bunch of little pieces. Just separate it. Here's a needle. Let me stick that back in there. Okay. Just a bunch of little pieces. Just stuff it in there. There, that's a lot easier than the other way. Just stuff it. with all the little pieces and grab the pieces of the fabric too. Use whatever you have if you don't have batting. Whatever you have left over from your, your bed you could you could stuff it with. If you don't have that then you just chop up napkins. Use your imagination. Everything is not set in stone. So you just fold the edge Fold the edge, just like that. Fold the edge and you just sew across. Just sew all across like that. And I will do that for you. It only takes a few minutes. Sometimes you have to put a little moisture on it. So. I said you get it like that. If you want to hide the knot, you just sew in there a little bit and then take your stitches. You could sew a straight stitch or you can whip it. Right now, the straight stitch is the easiest, so that's what we're, we're going to go for easy. See, just go the edges, just close the edges. That's all you got to do. And if you don't have a needle and thread, you can use tape. That's tape is okay, but tape is only temporary. So a thread lasts longer. Okay, I just 
did it just like that. See? Got a little pillow. Just make that little circle again. Stick it in there and you lock the. There we go. Now it's all locked in. All we gotta do is make a pillowcase. There's the other part of the bed. Okay, now we're gonna use um, a handkerchief. That's all I used was a handkerchief. They're a dollar, it costs a dollar. They're not that 